transcendence beyond pain and pleasure. It is said that the message of the religion is for the believers. Those who believe in the Holy Prophet and his message will get salvation. So also, this is erroneous. The message of religion and religiosity is the food for the being the soul, the room. And we have the food for the body. There are different menus. If that be the case, that the message of Holy Prophet and Quran Pak, Quran Imaji is for the believers in that. In the same Christmas, we must say that the Chinese food is for the believers in the Chinese food and those who trust. The Chinese food is for all those who like Chinese food and relish it. It is the nourishment for the body. So is Thai food, so is Indian food. It is cooked by the consuls. Just as for the Prophet is the Coliseum of Islamic religion, and he is the one who planned to whom all the recipes that are contained in Holy Quran Quran Imaji. Just as the Chinese food, the Thai food, the Indian food, all different kinds of foods, they are meant, they are a complete package. For those who enjoy that food in the world, is for the nourishment of their body. When you go, do you choose everything in the Chinese menu? You choose the items out of the menu card that you like. If you are a vegetarian, you choose vegetarian dishes. If you are interested in beauty food, then you do not choose the items that contain noodles. If you are allergic or do not like the monosodium intimate, you ask them to prepare the dishes we done. In the selection of those dishes that you want for the nourishment of your body, you choose according to your own understanding and awakening about the food and awareness. Nobody says anything or blames you. There is no belief system in that. It's a matter of individual choice according to your own inner taste and what is necessary for your health. If you like to be spicy food, you eat accordingly. If you like less salt, less spices, you Take the food accordingly. So is the case with all of us. And we do not feel guilty when we choose certain things from a Chinese menu card. There is some disturbances coming. Just check your microphones and keep them mute because then there is a disturbance very freely. And the faith disturbance goes to the goods, even the goods. It becomes difficult to remove it. If you notice that when it comes to the nourishment of the body, the food that we eat, we never feel guilty when we are eating, whether we are rejecting the Chinese food in favor of Indian food or Indian food in favor of Thai food or Mediterranean food, we know that we are. And at times, if you are visiting a place, you go for different types of food. There is no big feeling that I have left the food, the nourishment of my food and going to someone else. Because you are eating for the nourishment of this body. 
and out of the particular menu you choose the items which appeals to your taste bud, which you feel is good for the nourishment for your body. If you are suffering from sugar, you do not take those dishes which have sugar content too much. Or if you are not interested in gluten items, you choose out of the menu the items which are not gluten, which are gluten. If you are vegetarian, you choose the items according to your own interests. This similar thing has to be about when it comes to the nourishing foods. Do you think the food that is cooked, if you are an Indian, do you think the Chinese food is to be condemned or Thai food is to be condemned because it is not good? Only Indian food is the best, it is the best. And we have to live, we have to develop, we have to exhibit our understanding that all food is good. For the human beings. Today you may think, go to a Chinese restaurant and eat Chinese food. And in Chinese also there is Hakam, there is Mandarin, there is Cantonese, and other styles of cooking. One is not better than the other. At a particular moment you may choose this for the other, and you never feel guilty. This is how. Our understanding should be about the religion and its being. Holy Prophet is the chef for the inner soul. He created those recipes and prepared delicious food which will give nourishment to your being. Jesus is another chef who has created wonderful recipes and dishes for you in this insane way. Now see, Jerthus, Heraclitus, Pythagoras, Vidavyas, the ones who created the Upanishads, Bhagavad Gita, they are all wonder chefs master chefs in the own right. Go on creating new dishes, adding to their repertoire. They are creating fusion dishes, all for the nourishment of the soul. There are some basic dishes, then there are some fusion dishes, where you are using the French technique, an East Indian technique if you are expert in it too. Nothing is wrong. We do not consider it wrong. And if an African chef prepares East Indian or French dishes or consumes that, do we have to condemn that? That the person left his or her own and entering to the other? We cherish it. Let us have that kind of broad mindedness, openness, the universal approach, the light, the principle of buoyancy of Archimedes, the principle of falling object, the gravitation, the force of Newton, theory of relativity of Albert Einstein. The discovery of electric bulb by Alexander Graham Bell and all other things are for the entire humanity. Let us have that kind of awareness. Only then we can attain to totality and go beyond the transcendence and attain to transcendence beyond pain and pleasure. My goal is to give you that kind of, create a that kind of art which emerges from within. If you feel for a particular dish or a particular 
that this here it is extreme cold or extreme heat or the psychological causes that can lead you to the state of depression. Remember depression and tension is the improper use of your intelligence. We do not have control over natural causes. We have to learn to adjust to things. You have to handle the natural causes differently. Duality. And this is what all the natural causes are encompassed in one pair, heat and cold, sea to ocean. And all the psychological causes are encompassed in another pair, pain and pleasure. One who is influenced, not critical of one over the other. Is the one who attains to equanimity. Is this recipe only for those who are believers in Bhagavad Gita? Just as the message of Albert Einstein is not only for Jews because he was a Jew or Jesus was a Jew, his message is for the entire humanity, most so for the one. He draws his energy from that. Just as today you draw your energy for the nourishment of your body from the Chinese food, tomorrow you draw from, tomorrow you decide when you are holiday that we will go to a Thai restaurant or we will go to a famous Indian restaurant or Cantonese restaurant or we will go to the French museum. You will take the French dishes. Or maybe a fusion dishes. Such should be the understanding of each other. Going beyond the natural causes and the real affected, and also beyond the psychological factors, and going beyond the brain's